When you know that you are queer, but your favorite drink is beer, that's gayish. You can bottom without stopping, but you can't stop going shopping, that's gayish. Oh, gayish, you're probably gayish. Well, life's just too short for narrow stereotypes, so oh, it's gayish. We're also gayish. It's gayish with Mike and Kyle. Hello, everyone in the podcast universe. This is Gayish. The podcast that's all about that ace, about that ace. No, sex with anyone, probably. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, you think I'm asexual? I don't. Okay. I think you're demisexual. Okay. Because you have to have feelings for people before you fuck them, which is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. No, I support everyone that's anything. Kyle is wrong. I'm Mike weird. Johnson. I'm Kyle Getz. <laughs> and we're here to bridge the gap between sexuality and actuality. And- Gayish. Kyle is wrong. <laughs> Today. Today we're going to... Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so excited <laughs> because it's not me. We're going to do a app makeover. Makeover. I'm makeover, going to... Make me an app. <laughs> I'm going to queer eye for the mic guy yep. on this episode. We're going to make over your scruff profile. Oh, fuck. I have opinions. Yeah? Yeah. Let's talk about them after we do yes, this let's, other stuff. Yes. <laughs> let's do more stuff first. But first. Uh, but first. Uh, one thing I wanted to say is we, I listened when um, when I was editing, we mentioned two, in two episodes, hashtag no tall men, yeah. which is really funny. Uh, <laughs> I should say Matt, our friend Matt Eaton is the one that came up with that <laughs> uh, credit. I like to give people credit when we don't. We, when we say they're funny things he yeah. was on the D episode like back in like the early days way back in the day before we knew what we were doing and we still play D D with him it's not like he died or anything no <laughs> no no no. he's living <laughs> oh no, or a very convincing ghost it, it was their wedding too the, oh like, yeah, yeah. The, the, weddings the weddings episode, episode. Was, their, was their wedding yeah um yeah i mean proper att- attribution is one thing i just like to say not my joke it, mostly because i usually no. don't remember where it yeah. came from yeah, so yeah. Good for something you. yeah yeah i remember <laughs> things uh the other thing I wanted to say is um, we talked about the dude's wedding who they were like, you yeah. can't do the, you have to do a bouquet or something. Mr. Canada, Josh Reimer. Yes. Actually, I wrote that down because I'm prepared, but you would have known that if you listened just <laughs> a little longer. <laughs> um, uh, he uh, messaged us on Twitter. He was like, hey, that was my wedding. And it was so crazy. It was like kind of cool to be like, oh my God, like th- that's a person that is like out there. Um, his Twitter and Instagram is at Josh Reimer, R-I-M-E-R. Do you um, think he listens to us or do you think somebody tipped him off and then he listened Well, it was to in us? our Instagram post that Dan put up um, and he oh. was tagged there. So I don't know if he's going to hear this, but either way. He also commented on the Instagram yeah okay so, well, which is like that'd be really weird for someone to be like we talked about you you don't know us i guess he got news coverage um and then he also has a youtube channel where he talks more about that and his wedding yeah. so if you want to check that out it's youtube.com slash josh reimer he posted a hilarious translation of an article from that language whatever it was back into english and it called him mr homosexual canada <laughs> <laughs> i would prefer that he's actually uh the former mr correction to dan uh the former mr <laughs> Uh, homosexual Canada uh, because it was for 2019. Hmm. Yeah. Um, That's last year. I know too Weird. much. I know. I know too much about this dude now. Um, what did you have? Okay, great. Uh, so we did have a piece of feedback. I spe- like sometimes I don't necessarily mean it, but sometimes I say, hey, <laughs> listeners, send me info. Tell me I things. Don't, and- I don't say that because I usually <laughs> either don't care or I'm not. Like People send us stuff, which is really great and sweet, and I read it, and then I forget. Yep. <laughs> so I don't know. But- uh, uh, so this is from A.E. Coleman. I just listened to the regular episode about cigars early via Patreon and enjoyed it as always. I'm writing about the issue that came up regarding dead naming and Mike being unsure how to respectfully refer to the human Ken doll person. (laughs) Patreon.com. Speaking as a trans person, I thought it was an understandable conundrum and I am writing in answer to Mike's request for assistance. While I won't presume to speak for the entirety of all trans people everywhere, I can offer a suggestion that would be acceptable to me personally as, as trans. First, you're correct that typically dead naming anyone is bad and should be avoided. In the case of celebrities and or people in the public sphere, there's a bit of an asterisk next to this rule. In that, the dead name has become something of a brand name. The person's work and platform is associated with that old name, which is why I'm thankful that I started publishing under A.E. Coleman prior to transition. In a way, the dead brand name has to be used as part of directing people to the new brand name. It's a little like keeping an old URL active so that it can redirect visitors to the new website. Here's a rough but specific suggestion for how to talk about it in an episode. The famous person formerly known as ABC did blah blah blah. Sounds just like me. (laughs) 
The famous person formerly known as ABC did blah, blah, blah. The reason they're formerly known as ABC is because they transitioned and are now known as XYZ. You heard it here first, maybe. So everyone gird up your loins. Oh, that loins. was part of what you should say? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that. <laughs> so everyone gird up your loins and update your brains. The new name is XYZ. Hopefully, this is helpful. Oh, I love that. I also, thank you for writing in. I also, uh, especially as cis people who want to like be very cognizant of different people's like preference, I think the first thing to think about is, do I need to say this? Do I need to say their dead name for people to understand? In the case of the human ken doll like you could just say that i mentioned this on the episode like you could just say that and people know like less people associate like that was the brand name Mm -hmm. so i think that's a a case where you uh, probably didn't have to dead name them but yeah if it's someone like to talk about caitlin jenner it makes sense that you would refer to what she was known as before which is bruce jenner this has come up uh, yes i agree with you absolutely and this has come up a couple of times when I've when I've read the news, like when I'm literally reading the news. I have a weird thing about correcting the wrong thing when it's something I'm reading. Mm. Like if if somebody if I'm quoting somebody and they're yeah. dead naming somebody, is that OK? Yeah. I'm not, and I'm yeah. not sure. Well, th- I mean, that's yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, here is the actual quote that I want you to know. And here's what you should say. I agree. Yeah. I, OK, my plan, unless somebody like totally thinks that's bad. I'm just going to, like, whatever's on the page, I'm going to fucking read it. And But you have to make it clear, like, quote, yeah. blah, 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 ABC. Great. You heard it, heard it here first. Heard it here first, maybe. Okay. Um, should we do the news? Yeah, let's do the news. Okay, great. I've been sick all weekend. Okay. The music to the news is done. It's the singing excuse, that I haven't done. Excuses. Excuse, excuse. Shut your fucking mouth. I, <laughs> um, <laughs> news are news. Here's the news. Don't get the blues. It's the news. Every time we do the news and there's no theme song, I'm going to sing to annoy you enough to great, doing it. Great. The news will news theme song is coming out this summer, kids, because I like this <laughs> oh, a lot. Oh, no. No, no. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right. Here's the news. So this was on Pink News. Um, <laughs> there was a... <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. So, oh God. At Trendy DJ Timacy... How? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's T R E N D Y D J T I M I C. Tweeted this uh, on the second of January. As a woman, you need to be careful and smart enough to detect if your husband or boyfriend is one of those gays out there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. I'm on board so far. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Let me give you this eight powerful signs to you to catch one of them. You are in a relationship with presently. <laughs> Number one, they looks at other men in a flirtatious way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This this article also has bitchy commentary as it goes, so I'm going to read those as okay. well. Compliments, a sure sign of homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, feigning attention in church and prayer groups. <laughs> Wait. Because <laughs> it's a known fact that gay men cannot be Christian or remotely spiritual. Sorry, uh, that's the bitchy commentary. But <laughs> feigning, att- pretending to pay attention in church. I thought you said fanning attention, oh, no. which meant getting out a fan and fanning yourself, which I was like, gay. Extra gay, yeah. <laughs> Number three, overly fastidious about his appearance and the home. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I am not gay, apparently. Mm-hmm, no, no <laughs> same, me either. <laughs> Number four, gym membership, but no interest in sports. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't have a gym membership. I just have a personal trainer. That's close. That's gay enough. I have a gym membership that I don't use. Mm, that's pretty straight. And I hate sports. Yeah. Yep. Number five, clothes that are too tight and too trendy. Oh, not. Nah, I am not gay. <laughs> the pack of Hanes t-shirts are not super trendy right now. Uh, number six, strange sexual demands. Quote, fetishism is a sign that a man is seeking a harder thrill beyond the normal intimacy of heterosexual relations. The woman may not appeal to the deep desires that are coming to the surface as the marriage drags on. If there's a sudden interest in sodomy, sadomasochism, lubricants, role plays, sex toys, or other non-traditional intercourse methods, this is clearly an indication of deep emotional abnormalities. Damn, women that after menopause, like, <laughs> just, you have to go in and try, or, like, or your husband's gay. Yep. Lubricants. Oh, no. Sight of the devil, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, too many friendly young male friends. Hmm. Do they touch each other or embrace in long hugs? <laughs> Do they exchange expensive personal gifts like scarves or cologne? <laughs> Is his penis ever inside his penis? <laughs> Wait, I meant but, not... <laughs> I not mean, 
equally gay, though. That's true. That's true. Uh, number eight, sassy, sarcastic, and ironic around his friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A man who's secretly engaged in homosexual activity with others may exhibit feminine qualities when they get together in a group. Girl, that's true. <laughs> uh, in a sense, he has let his hair down, and this will be seen in excessive back talk and speaking with one's hands. <laughs> anyway, Twitter had a field day with this yeah. poor woman who is just batshit crazy and fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is literally what we talk about. <laughs> like, she's like, let us list, let me list all the stereotypes that we are trying to break people of. <laughs> yep. Yep. Also very victim blamey victim blame me uh like oh women it it's your responsibility to know if your man is gay it's your fault if oh. if you don't pick up those signs yep yep for sure okay news the second yeah okay that I mean that was barely news but it was in the news yeah was i on, mean it's it something was, that happened it was on a news site sure is, i guess twitter's a news site um more twitter stuff so we got to talk about boy george okay oh didn't he do something bad yep cool <laughs> i know uh, the news uh he got famous for being the lead singer of culture club and has been a gay icon for 30 years or more um soups and yep and that was his whole thing androgyny was really big in the early 80s actually look at like annie lennox and the eurythmics and and Boy uh, George freddie and, like, prince jr no freddie mercury freddie prince jr who <laughs> 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 was like four or whatever <laughs> um so on january 6th george they, they call him george because his last name is george but neither of them are his name it's his stage name is boy george but oh. they still talk about him as george as if that's his last name sure. very confusing on january 6th george for some reason tweeted leave your pronouns at the door and then somebody a critic tweeted do you not know what the fuck pronouns are <laughs> and his response was a modern form of attention seeking mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is problematic mm -hmm. he also has uh refused to step back from those comments mm. uh somebody ask, else asked him what does it take to show others respect by using their preferred pronouns to which george responded thanks for that but i have eyes and can mostly describe what i see uh, and then and then uh he he posted a photo of himself, like, semi-apologetically wearing long eyelashes, and people jumped in his shit for that. Like, yeah. you're not suddenly pro-trans now because you wear eyelashes, you yeah. sick fucker. Yeah. Every Time and time again, I have read... I, I have a little... Like, at first, had this little bit of weirdness of, like, I present so male. Like, is it just stupid for me to, you know, put he, him on anything? Um, and what I've seen time and time again from trans people writing about this is, one that is inherently transphobic because just because i present male does not mean i'm not trans i mean yeah. i'm not but uh the fact that i'm not trans makes me not trans um and it normalizes it so if just trans people put their pronouns on their bio then it's like oh, hello everyone i'm trans so if yeah. more people are doing it then it doesn't necessarily mean anything which is cool it just means you're a cool person yep yeah. yep yeah. do it we also have a on the Discord server. There's a thing that will add your pronouns for you. Yeah, to your name. That's yeah, which cool. is really yeah. Brandon Pettigrew knocking out of the park. Yep, for free. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep doing that. Uh, I gave him. I gave him some merch. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. Comped. Okay. <laughs> um. Last. Yeah. Last but not least. Okay. In Seattle, Washington, today. I live there, and I'm currently in today. Mike Johnson presented Kyle Getz with a key. Ooh, oh, God. Wait, what's that? That is the key to Gayish Media's oh. new post office box. So if you want to... Fuck wanna, me in the box. This is so exciting. If you want to send us shit, you can send us shit now, and I'm very nervous. But, yeah. Uh, our P.O. Box, I will talk about it. I'll, I'll put it in our contact section at the end, but it is P.O. Box 19882, Seattle, Washington, 98109. And it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. And uh, I asked her if I could, if we could have P.O. Box 6969 mm. or something that spelled boobs. She was <laughs> not happy uh. with my request. <laughs> Wait, did you actually ask that? Yeah, well, uh, 6969 I did. I didn't say <laughs> boobs because she was obviously, but but she asked, what's your podcast about? And I told her. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then she's like, oh my God, that's so cool. It's really great. Stereotypes are stupid, blah, blah, blah. She's, yeah. and, and, then, and then I was like, so can we have P.O. Box 6969? <laughs> and she laughed, but then just like she she chuckled, like kind of glanced, like maybe her supervisor was going to see. And I said, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, people have asked us about like, where do I send this thing? And so now you have a place to send it that is not Mike's home address, which yeah. is part of the 
and I know that people like to send like things, and that's totally fine. Go for it. Like, yeah. uh, the the number of things that we've received without giving an address is actually <laughs> <laughs> kind of interesting. Yeah, um, mostly from uh, in show or in person live shows. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then given our address, my address out a couple of times, and felt nervous about that. So now, thank you, Patreon. We can afford a post office box. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thanks. That's the news. Um, that is the new news news news. Okay. Um, given that the, the post office is like right here, you're never going to use that key. No. Yeah. Only when you're out of town. Yep. Great. Um, okay. Now I would like to thank Patreon members, Terry McGraw. That's Terry Hatcher and Tim McGraw's son. Um, mm-hmm. also Jake, uh, Jake sent me the pronunciation of his name in advance. Uh, so he said it rhymes with the Bettles. Jake Dettles. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jake, for that pronunciation. Um, and then Zachariah Ruff. Wait, is it Jack? Is it Jake Deedles? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Great. Uh, and, and Zachariah Ruff, whose name I love. That's the end of that. Okay, thank you. If you want... Oh, you were about to no, make a joke. No, it's like you've put a zip tie around my lips. And yeah. It's so painful. A zip tie. <laughs> um, now you know how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you want bonus content, go to patreon.com slash podcast. Yep. Do you want to talk about your makeover? Yeah, let's talk about the makeover. I, you, I know that... I know that we didn't want to have like a great big long intro thing, but it's already too late a little for bit. that. Um, <laughs> I've been bitching for a while that I suck at scruff and grinder. Yeah. And you've said before, you just don't get responses. Yep. And that you do better in person. I do way better in person. Why do you think that is? Well, this is what I wanted to talk about. Like, I think you're asking, why do I think I do better in person? No, and, well, I, and, I, but I, no, I, well, sure you can tell me that but like more like why don't you think you get responses on scruff because that's going to help us when we do a makeover obt dubs we're going to have a couple we're gonna have a panel judging you yeah um it's great like we're We're gonna unlock my phone yes we're gonna look at your scarf profile so uh, my hairstylist tiffany and her friend nicole Nicole, who is a photographer are both coming in so we're gonna we're gonna american idol you yeah it's gonna be fun okay um but yeah why why do you think you do good in person and bad on scruff so if I was to also not do well in person, then it would, all of my insecurities about not doing well online would be confirmed. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know why I don't do well online, but I I definitely, it hurts and I, I get frustrated and sometimes I get drunk and said, you guys, big, long mm-hmm. messages on Facebook. Yeah. And it is a dizzying array of bullshit and and feeling terrible yeah. like it's because i'm over 40 now and nobody wants to be with anybody who's over 40 so i take my age off and then like no responses because like you said once on the podcast like if you don't have an age on your profile you old mm-hmm. it's because i'm too fat it's because i'm not attractive it's because i type the wrong things it's because i i'm not clear with what i want it's because i'm to I'm, be fair your opening line of you want to eat some chicken I think you should change that. <laughs> it's a weird opening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of weird openings, <laughs> uh, that I, um, I I turn the conversation sexual too soon. I don't turn the conversation sexual soon enough. Yeah. I am not picking up on the lingo. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's just like, I, I, okay, not exaggerating, trying to be objective here. I think that I have actually met and had a sexual encounter with on scruff five people hmm. out of literally literally hundreds if not thousands of woofs and hey how are you's and scrollings yeah. and yeah. and everything else what's your usage of scruff like like other apps compared to other apps and also like how much time on scruff do you think you spend uh for a long time i only had scruff Mm. and then i added grinder and then when i went to russia i added hornet because that's what they use there Mm. but i i've stopped using that because it's not quite as prevalent here um and then i also wanted to talk about this i also have a a tinder account and so my my three go-tos the ones that i actually like on an ongoing basis it's part of my digital routine it's scruff grinder 
and Tinder. And just Scruff alone, what's your kind of usage on a like average week? I mean, daily. I'm I'm on it daily for at least some small period of time, if only to check my messages, mm-hmm. um, which are never there. Um, uh, I probably w- woof or talk to thirty a week. And uh, how long are you on? Like, is it quick? things like or once in the morning for five minutes to look at it and just see hey who's nearby anybody new nope okay shut it down mm-hmm. no messages great um and then m- maybe like i don't know two or three hours a week just randomly mm-hmm. like sometimes i'll sit down and i'll be like i'm gonna fuck around on the app now because i got an hour between phone calls yeah. so i'll just blow an hour on it trying to blow yeah. <laughs> um is it mostly during the day that you're using it? You're describing like during work hours in the morning. Yeah, mostly. Okay. Well, I identified a problem. Yeah. But I also, I use, I use Scruff less than Grinder these days. Hmm. Like Grinder has turned into this like rat hole of, I, I spend a lot of time on there and I don't well, know. Well, now that they have ads, you kind of have to spend double the time to get through it all. <laughs> yeah. Except I pay for a premium. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't fucking work do for you, me. Do you pay for premium on Scruff? Like yeah. Scruff Pro? Yep. Hmm. Um, I'm also on Scruff for when they do their quiz shows. That's real fun. I think that host is real cute. I don't know what that even is. Oh, they, um, they have a weekly or semi-weekly quiz show. They have a quiz show. Like it's the, there's a dude and he talks to you and he says the questions and they're multiple choice. And then you push the thing and then you can swipe left and see who is playing that's near you. And you can swipe right and you can see who's playing that's near you that is lost already. One- <laughs> you, so if you want to find the dum dums, <laughs> yeah, he looks stupid and hot. But Maybe he'll have sex with me. One wrong, one wrong answer and you're out. There's a cash prize that they split among everybody who answers all of the questions right. I am not one because they're very gay questions. I'm uh, dumb about gay stuff. Oh my god! When you and I play, I'm I'm not generally not great at trivia. I don't know if you know this. I forget things. I don't know if I've told you that before, but the one time you and I won trivia first place, yeah. Like there was a section that was Britney or Christina. And I was like, everyone <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and then like at the end of the round, to be fair, everyone was me. It was just the two yeah. of us playing. <laughs> I was like, Mike, I got you. I mean, you also knew like, let me step back and just, um, and they had the like right lightning round at the very end of the trivia thing where it's like, you send up one person, obvi me. And like, what is, and then you have to like the first person to turn it in wins. And it was Brittany is to crossroads as Christina is to, do you even remember? Nope. Burlesque. Burlesque. Okay. I mean, but you, you did definitely like injure people running up to give your answer. Like you're like, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. A gay knows this. (laughs) Move. I'm gay. (laughs) Um, also I love you. You're great. But playing trivia sounds like the least sexy way to use scruff. I agree, but then at least it's good for something. Oh, oh not God. getting me laid, that's for sure. Man, I'm getting so sad as you're talking. Okay, so let's talk about that. It's a little early for an emotional moment. I haven't had enough to drink, and it really sucks. Yeah, yeah. Like, it does. The it, feeling really sucks. Yeah, yeah, it really does. I and mean, then I wonder why the fuck do I keep doing it? Mm. Like, I thre- I don't, I never actually do it, but, like, I threaten to, like, like all it's causing is, like, a lot of wasted time and pain and heartache. Just delete the shit and go out more. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it, I get that. And it, I think that's, uh, a lot of people have this experience, especially if you are not the stereotypical or, or accepted gay person of jacked, shirtless, always at the gym. Like, if you are not that person, then you've probably experienced this to some degree, yeah. uh, especially this is not you i don't think if you're a person of color if mm-hmm. you're like a- any kind of like very visibly queer like they're all of 23 more me femme. says i'm as white as it gets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so does your skin yep <laughs> um but but yeah i think this is something a lot of people can relate to yeah i will say as your therapist uh mm-hmm. i would say that all those things you're saying where you're like did i do this did i do this wrong did i do that wrong um the cognitive distortion there is mind reading mm-hmm. um and i mean you, this happens enough that there's some kind of pattern that you just don't know what it is yeah and so i understand that desire to let me fill in the blanks yeah um by criticizing myself about all these things i have done wrong another like an, another thing it uh so for, first of all, thank you for that. You're totally right. And you're welcome. Uh, um, there's a uh, there's a certain amount of looking around and talking to my friends and knowing how many of them are hooking up on Scruff. Mm. And the fact that they're doing that makes me wonder, well, what the what the fuck is wrong with me? And then working to figure it out. But number two, I I, I also wanted to add um, something. Cool. Yeah. 
that's uh, um, important. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, talking about that and that. Oh, it also occurs to me that maybe my experience is actually exactly the same as everyone else's and other people are trying harder than I am and oh. I'm getting I'm less resilient to the rejection I'm less resilient to the frustration of it and I just get triggered about it huh. sooner or, than others or what's the cognitive distortion of like selection bias or something where it's like you people don't go hey everybody didn't hook up last night like people right. will only tell you about when they hook up true so um, I relate to I my suspicion is based on how you talk about this I don't have as much of the experience of like not getting responses um, I don't know I don't know if that's true or not like ours but at least I can tell like it does hurt my feelings it's it's difficult but it feels like this affects you way more than me hmm. I okay why why do you use scruff not for what you already said but what you've said it is what you like is having relationship with someone, having some feelings, getting to know them first. Scruff doesn't seem conducive to that. It's not. So why are you, why are you on Scruff? When you get on it, what are you trying to find there? The fact that you're thinking for so long makes me think this is a good question. That's a great question. I am your therapist. <laughs> Pay me, bitch. <laughs> okay, great. The podcast will write you a check. Um, uh, I mean, I th I think. Are I, you on there for fuck buddies? Are you on for a non-sex? <clears throat> Are you on for cuddles and then sex? Like I have one sex friend, which I have earned the right yes. to call my sex friend. You, now, thank you jumped you. to that early, but you are now <laughs> friends with benefits. Um, and we met on Scruff, so that's like actually like one shining, bright, amazing success story for yeah. me out of out of that whole thing. And is that what you're looking for? Like, I think that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Like, like 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 sex, but not just sex. Right. Like a connection so that therefore yeah. I can be into the sex. Yeah. My kink is cuddling for an hour before boning down on you. Yeah. Oh, I'm already writing your profile. Yeah. We've, we've begun. <laughs> we've only <laughs> just begun. Um, <laughs> because we didn't intend to talk this long in the opening. Well, anything else you have before I give you a couple things? I also wonder if it's, uh, um, this is, <laughs> Oh, segue. You're so, so awkward. Suck. Well, no, I'm. I, oh. I. I. I also wonder if it's a good or a bad thing that I have gray Raya, which is the Polari word of the week. <gasps> <laughs> Raya. I was okay. We we're both bad at this. We said we were just going to slip I it know, in, and then I like know, I know. we were wrong. But then you laughed and Scruff, cracked. Very... Just slip it in. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to ask you what that meant. If you, yeah, yeah, gray Raya. Raya, which we mentioned before, mm -hmm. is Polari for hair. You can remember it because it's just hair backwards. R-I-A-H is Raya. As some of the uh, Polari words come from, it's just backwards, regular word. Yep. Yep. So, is having gray Raya bona or naff? <laughs> good or bad? Um, man, I lean towards good, but, it, but depending on how you play it. Like, I think you got to play it in a certain way. And everything has to kind of match up. So I'm, after the break, we will um, look at your profile, talk about your profile, and then suge suggest updates. Yeah. You will, I mean, hopefully mostly take them. I mean, you have to approve, but um, Scruff, mostly take them. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then we'll follow up in some amount of time to see how it worked. Okay, great. Do you want to take a break? Oh, yeah, let's take a break. <laughs> you were like surprised. I forgot. I forgot. This <laughs> You're just so in your head about scruff now that you everything. Episode yeah. 155. Mike has a stroke. Um, <laughs> this is the part where Mike and Kyle have a stroke. Um, yeah, sure. Let's take a break. 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 I'm gonna look at scruff. <laughs> Unsuccessfully. Un yeah. This is the part where Mike and Kyle take a break. Are we back? We're back. We're back. Uh, uh, we are going to make over Mike. We are scruff. here. Um, but first, who are these? Who are these ladies? And, and where do you? Where did you find where them? Where did I find them? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Tiffany and Nicole here. Um, I'll let you all tell us a little bit about yourselves and why you are an expert why? that's going to help Mike fix his game. I have been in the beauty industry or styling industry since '97. 
And I am an image director and a style maker and a so very you, successful what, one. A lot of frosted tips in 97. <laughs> so, you know, in 97, I was doing a lot of hair and makeup for runway. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I was doing more like uh, stuff that you could wash off. <laughs> You're on the local news sometimes. Most I also am on the <laughs> This will take hours. And then these are all the other things. Well, there, I was going to say your most in- important accomplishment, you do my hair. <laughs> well, and then make fun of you for a little while. Yeah. But like, yeah, yeah I, I, my goal in life is to make people, help people like the reflection and Aww. to help people come across as they want other people to see them. And a lot of those times I just ask, give me three descriptive words that you want someone to be able to aesthetically see without you even opening your mouth. Mm. And a lot of times people don't come across the way that they want other people to see them as. Mm -hmm. And it is great to go to experts like Nicole. Mike, that's something for you to sit on while Nicole tells us about herself. Oh, you, sit on it. You were holding your finger up while you said that, so I was like, "That's not something to sit on." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you could you could start with it, uh, Nicole. <laughs> tell us about yourself. Well, the connection is I met Tiffany seven years ago. I think it was bef- well before that. Eight, maybe. I think before, because uh, she's really good at blonde, and I was like, <laughs> and I I can do blonde. Yeah, and I really liked her because she had some moxie. And we, over the years, uh, did some projects together. Mm-hmm. With photographer. photo shoots. Mm-hmm. Yep. Photographer. And it's been a span of all of our projects, mm-hmm. all of our life span. And through that, before I was a photographer, I was a therapist. And now I'm back getting my PhD in therapy and actually certified sex therapist. So Shut up. Yeah. So we've talked about makeovers Mm -hmm. we've done them before Mm -hmm. and And i think a lot of like we want to help yeah we want to help the people helping hearts yeah yeah Mm -hmm. help and also my eyes burn sometimes when i see something that (laughs) shouldn't be the way that it is so it helps me it helps me feel like look at me walking down the street not with my eyes burning Yeah. Yeah. yeah everything you're saying is like you were made to give Mike advice, like everything you've done in <laughs> therapy, sex therapy, uh, image consulting, photography. Like this we have is, it all. Yeah, yeah. Y- I'm, yeah. I'm here for the gay, gay, for the gay. <laughs> I'm going to give the, the gay, gay angle support? because some of the things oh, may be yeah. for straights. And I need to jump in when you're like, that's a straight people thing. Okay. But okay. Tiffany and I have both been single in our long, loving relationship. So we've seen what's going on. And experienced it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And dating. you want to get the right swipe. Yeah. Um, and I, in both ways, like the right person swiping right. Swiping to the right. Yeah. Yes. We have a little bit less swiping in our Oh, are you tapping? Because, is it a uh, double tap? For scruff, it's a woof. Woof is the... Well, oh, there is swiping. Woofing. There is swiping. Um, you, But that's like, you can go into that section. The main section is nine you know, Brady Bunch style nine squares that you can scroll through everyone's like little thumbnail. Uh-huh. Um, just like the Brady Bunch. Yep. Just like the Brady Bunch. Uh-huh. That's you, how they met. I and think. then you send a woof. And then you can woof. That's like a tap Does or a it wink say or it? a... Does it go woof? It, nope. Luckily. Well, that's not that's <laughs> weird. I feel like if you're gonna... Anyway, go ahead. Um, they could be more creative is all I'm saying. Can you ahead. imagine if Scruff, when you, when you woof somebody, it went woof. Okay, like, well, a thing... Well, maybe you start to get excited about that. A thing with gay people is every now and then people either forget or don't care to turn off their volume so you'll hear the noise of a grinder or scruff message being received what and does then it like, sound like what does scruff sound like uh well it used to sound like <laughs> oh. and, uh, uh, is that's it like a bad wolf <laughs> <laughs> is it like Durr. no i think it's just like a i don't know you block me on scruff so like oh uh, can- <laughs> i block all my friends i don't yeah. i so i don't really know what so your profile you is because I, I, I don't want people to look at me like i saw hey what, dan can you woof me right now yeah great so on mike's when i was looking at mike's screen i saw dan nearby because they're sitting next to each other and i was like oh my god you you can like you don't block people like i do i don't want to see my friends i don't want them to see me Mm-mm. oh mm. okay so we want more of that yeah, yeah. Yes. More, more of those. More did it is. Okay. Um, some people hate woofs, and I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, it's a thing. Um, okay, so before we look at Mike specifically, can you quickly give me some of your general? You see this time and time again. What are your general tips uh, for 
your image and your profile. Of course, it's always fun to start with the no's because those are the ones that I feel most passionate about. The no stop don'ts. Going back before on like the three words that you want someone to think of you, you also have to think about that through the photo that you're choosing to represent your person. Like your human being is represented online wanting, waiting for a woof. (laughs) And so no... No photos that are not relevant to your body. But you're saying not just it's your body part, it's like representative body. When you go out on your date after getting that woof, you can show someone the photo of the sunset you saw (laughs) last week that you thought was really nice. But you don't need to take up your word space with a fucking sunset. Opposite. No. (laughs) That's a grinder problem for sure. Well, it's if you don't have more of a personality than look at the majestic sun that I just saw last week then I don't want to date you (laughs) like you should be able to come up with something other than this cool sunset that I'm going to post and if you like long walks on the beach with sunsets put it in your bio Mm -hmm. yeah Uh, what else we've talked about no selfies in the car like no what about the being in the car with the seatbelt like feeling really good Mm, take my picture nope we, it's great that you have a car. It's nice. I want someone to have a car. Safety it, seatbelt mm, promotes road safety. I, it's a waste of story. What do you want that to tell the person? I felt good in a car with my seatbelt on at, I don't know, a stoplight perhaps, mm. and I'm keeping up <laughs> traffic. It, it's like a drunk moment or like I have no other photos f- moment. Yeah. Like, you're, you're telling do better. People, do better. <laughs> you're telling people that, that I'm it, desperate. You, yeah. And then also looking down at your phone. If someone can see up your nose, then no, because now you're telling them that I don't know how to hold a camera. Oh, you're talking about the ang- you're not talking about a selfie in the mirror where you're looking at your phone. You're talking about the angle, uh, angle. is from down. Okay, the exception might be for gays who are simulating where you will be during a blowjob. Like, hey, this is going to be your view while you're blowing. Okay, me. question. But is it dick pics too? No, you're not allowed. Well, on the uh, private. Uh, profile or like private pictures you're allowed to have dicks on the public one no dicks okay Hmm. so fun game right because we were talking about this before (laughs) like the what is your intention Mm -hmm. and if your intention is to have a more meaningful conversation then i feel like leave it up to mystery that's true for mike specifically yeah simulating here's what it looks like when you're blowing me won't necessarily match his goals. also really are your eye like when i'm when i'm doing that i'm like oh, i hope this is over soon and my eyes are kind of closed so mm. like are you <laughs> when you're doing a, is it a side blow job that you're looking up at I, someone like how do you even have that angle oh eye contact is up? hot eye contact is a like really? a standard move oh, in my man. repertoire of like it's not the whole t- you're not just like Ooh, like <laughs> but in my repertoire it is look up Okay. Play with the balls. I'm not going to get... This is not what the episode's about. Um, okay. Great. N- so, but it's so, good fodder. Like, yeah. that could be a flirt later. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nicole, what what are the things you would... Like, the common mistakes or things you recommend uh, to people? I would say no, like... And I know there's a lot of animal lovers, which p- portrays a lot of stuff, but no lizards, parrots <laughs> on your shoulder. <laughs> no, like, weird dog photos, like... Everybody loves dogs. I mean, most people that are great or cats or whatever, but you just, you can convey it in different ways. It's cheesy. It's gross. Um, See, I think a picture cuddling a dog would be cute and like attract things. Are yeah, you saying but, no to that? Well, that's later. I okay. feel like we're like first base, also, second Also cuddling, base, like could base. you just like be smiling with your dog? Yeah. Not like, not on your shoulder. Like it's also, you know, just, just how you present it. It's, caring. It's like, come on. Okay. Um, the other thing for me was like, too, for guys, um, too many shirts off, pants down here so you can see like the, the grind, lines, the <laughs> grind, and like selfies of like mean photos. You're like, mm. oh my God, there are those guys that have the same facial expression in every Everyone. single yes. photo, yes. and it's not a good one. No. And you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? I feel like this is a porno thing (laughs) that we're misled. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say, but this may be a potential difference of shirtless selfie can do well in, in, on gay apps. Uh, Yeah. But again, intention. Yeah. So, so, and you, I, mystery is really important to getting a swipe, 
Like, mm. if you are like, here's my fucking stomach. Here's this is how you're going to look at me when you blow mm. me. Abs like, are important here, to getting a swipe. Here, you can show abs without being naked. Mm. Disagree. Mm. No, you. Yes. I mean, oh, you there possible. are very specific shirts. Yeah. That you can wear. Agreed. There's fashion that you can show. I, I agree that for Mike, this is not going to be the right picture. Mike, sorry, you don't have abs. Um, But for people that anymore. have shirt <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but if you're looking for like a hookup. A shirtless uh, jacked photo will get you more responses. And you know what? Find one, like one. But yeah. like, it doesn't mean to be. Your think only. about what. Think about your environment. Yeah. Like, if you're at the gym and you take your shirt off and you're sweaty, and you have mm. your fucking headphones in, mm. and you're just like, look at me. <laughs> you talking. can have one of those. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's appropriate. But if you're in the bathroom at a bar and you decided to lift your shirt up and take a picture intention yeah. right this yeah. is intention yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and i'm gonna add what tiffany says like if you see that one photo and you're like "Ooh, damn hot but the other ones are a little bit more like conservative or mysterious you're like huh i might want to know more mm, got it yeah like especially- everything's not on the table all at once yeah where you're just like yep i want to fuck that i don't <laughs> care about anything else i'm not interested so specific so people that are into that maybe that's when you have all of your shirtless hot picks but for mike he'll he'll do yeah more the like yeah, let's yeah. keep it a mystery okay let's look mike sent wait, us all okay. wait, 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 oh, before, oh, we, before we look at that okay. oh. oh this is gonna be so i like you but boy <laughs> but, yeah i already am like okay so this like is... look we're looking at <laughs> what i'm yeah. looking at right now is but wait, so, he wanted to say something. Oh, so I, I, I have just, I have just sent everyone screenshots of my scruff profile. I'm going to also send you my Tinder just okay. so that you have that uh, as well. For me, I think of Tinder for love, scruff for sex, but I'm open to the idea of either turning into the other. But when you okay. and we talked about this in the intro, but like when you say sex, you mean establishing a connection, relationship with someone, and then having sex, which is different than. A non hookup, but my bar for that is, I think, lower than you're making it out to be. Like, can we have a drink first? Can we like? No, hey. that's what I mean. That's so crazy. I want you in my anus. Great. I'm. I'm not saying like let's date for a week and no, then fuck. no, no. I'm yes, saying, yes. Like, yeah. S- let's talk for a little bit and then we can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. I get that. So, I mean, I'm gonna say I. It is unclear to me if you if open mouth looking at a camera is your <laughs> smile oh no it's not so because okay so okay like number one uh, I'm, I'm the worst ever at selfies and my phone won't even take them anymore because i dropped it when i was leaving a trick's house the other day um <laughs> leaving a what house a, a hookup house What'd you call a it? trick a trick yeah um but yeah i i, I dropped my phone like Aww. on the selfie lens so now i'm screwed in that department but i was never good at them in the first place so Okay, so then Fine. we'll have our friend Kyle take photos of you, <laughs> and we'll... But so, you know, when we're looking at the first photo, I can see that you have an air freshener in the back, and you've got some weird thing hanging. I think you're in the bathroom. I don't know. And and so it's like, if you're feeling it, this should have been just like a hand full back, like full back smile, like a smile photo. Oh, yeah. Yep. You don't... I don't know what... I don't know if you're about to say something... Can I don't know I, what can you're going to say. Can I ask you saying? a question real quick? Yeah, yeah. Ask all the questions. When you when you have these four physical photos that you present here, um, personally, do you like them? Oh, uh, well, B- BT Dubs, we'll post all this to the Facebook group. Yep. Facebook.com slash group slash podcast. You're not allowed to take any more photos with your mouth open. Yeah. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. <laughs> There's That's like a, four of them in here. It's a good point. And you have a really nice smile. Oh, thank but, you. But do you like these photos? Um, so they're the best ones that he had. <laughs> that's not necessarily true. Um, although, yeah, it's mostly true. Um, oh, I just got real uncomfortable. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to work through it. Okay, I'm back. So first of all, I hate my bottom teeth. I hate them. They're crooked. Mm-hmm. I've never, like, I, I just, I don't like them. Mm-hmm. So the instant I think to myself, okay, I'm going to take a picture mm-hmm. of myself, mm-hmm. I I get all up in my head and then it becomes contrived and artificial and gross and I hate it and totally. it sucks. And so I spent five thousand dollars fixing my bottom teeth because I lived mo- all my life with all of my teeth on top of that. So I can totally understand what you're saying. Yeah, but you have a really nice smile. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you do. I mean, and that's also so we talked at the top of the hour. I feel like I do really well in person. The only thing that gets me through all of the rejection online is that I have a really 
I think, healthy, good amount of self-esteem. Mm-hmm. I have a lot to offer somebody. I have a great... You have self-esteem? Uh, Where did you find it? <laughs> I, I, have, I have a great job. I, I, I think that I'm uh, attractive. I'm smart. I'm you funny. Are. I'm a good uh-huh. conversationalist. Like I, it's so it's, but that's all natural. That's like interacting mm-hmm. with actual human beings and yeah. to turn that into a static digital representation is, feels so impossible mm-hmm. to me. I do and agree that I don't think your pictures represent what you look like. Not at all. I agree. IRL. Wow. Not at all. Great. Wow. Everyone, this is a consensus. Even Dan's <laughs> shaking his head. No. <laughs> Um, I no, okay, can I can, can I just say that 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 blows me away in a, like in a good way? Like mm. that's information that I it like, helps have, understand I have, why, and I have no other way of knowing that except for you to say it. Just yeah. only just photo now. that like, comes across for oh, first of all, it's in the bathroom again, and I hate. It. <laughs> so, but like the only one that I feel comes across most like you is the one that you're in the bathroom with that like Hawaiian shirt, yep, with that cute little like smirk. You're. You can see your teeth. Your hair is nice. You can see your arms. You're not slouching. You're standing straight. Like that, when I meet you, makes sense to me when I see you. I disagree. I think this one comes off because it looks like really a very sweet. sweet man. Yeah. And good smile that you have. That uh, is one two, of the... Like terrible lighting, though. Yeah. So it's it's outdoors at uh, at a wine bar. and But it's important to note that someone else took that photo. Do you want to know how you oh. could have bumped your game up, though? Mm. Holding a glass of wine. For sure. You're at a wine bar. Why 100%. is there no accessory? And Absolutely. it's like, here's an interest of mine. Yeah. And then people will be like, sweet, he's not sober. <laughs> <laughs> this is important to say. I will also say, Tiffany, I'm interested to get your take after I say this. I don't think your hair oh, oh. specific. <laughs> I don't think your hair. I was saving that. Like, oh, oh, okay. Go for it. You go. You no, go. you go. I, I want him to hear it from a friend first. Okay. <laughs> I don't think your hair comes across well in pictures because in the pictures it comes across. I, again, I'm going to be mean. Like he wears a it comes on across the top as of unicorn. Head. Like I yep. have a rhino horn. Yep. All I would like to see with your hair is for you to actually grow out the back a little bit more and then have more product and make it me more messy PC than like all up at the front. Yeah. And that's just bringing you into 2020. Yeah. Yeah. I do think that it can come across as trying to be younger than you are, which I like part of what I think you want to do is embrace the the age like 41 all of those these things now trying to like being a daddy having salt and pepper being older are like cool now they're in now people are into that and to embrace that i i do think your hair and your pictures should, should change from uh, to to reflect that yeah but so do you let's let's be clear mm-hmm. are we talking about my hair are we talking about pictures of my hair uh, I like, think we're I, talking about I'm talking about your hair. Great. Oh, I'm talking about pictures of I your think, hair. I think it's oh. full spectrum, like full body, mm-hmm. like just change it up a little bit, add photos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've I've had I, I've had two hairstyles <laughs> consistently over the last 15 years, give or take. Yeah, uh, Tiffany can speak to that. That's w- probably common. One, one is basically this, and the other is basically like a two-guard buzz all over. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> I, I love her so much. After, <laughs> after I started to trust Tiffany at first, uh, we got like real specific, and Tiffany said before every cut like exactly what she was going to do, which I appreciated, but now that I trust her and know she's great, I just sit down and, and, and mostly just say, like, do what you want. And it's so nice that I don't have to think about it. Because I'm not good at hair or styling or fashion. I mean, to go back, to, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. But this is where you say thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Oh. I didn't hear a compliment. I you're just, really good I at fashion. I trust you. I just heard you describing you. me. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, you just As said I true made. things. <laughs> no, um, actually, like. I, th- I think that when we're talking about what Nicole and I, you know, have done for people before is sit down and get to know the human, get mm-hmm. to know the, like we were saying, the raw part and, mm-hmm. and how you, <laughs> who you feel you are and how you identify. And you said, I don't feel good about my bottom teeth. And then that fucks up all your photos. Cause you have some one thing you're focusing on that's yucky, but everything else is good. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. you're a very handsome man, Oh, thank you. but it does not come across. <laughs> the way because I think that you're like I'm gonna be goofy here or I'm gonna I'm gonna be normal so I'm gonna be relaxed but you're like so relaxed that it's not coming across as trying yeah and so like what would three words be that you would want someone to see before they woofed at you uh uh, so my my like adjectives my my self image um 
I think that I'm I'm smart and fun and a nurturer. I think those are my top three things awesome. that, I, that I do that I am. So, Which is interesting because reading your profile, you have a heavy focus on the nerd and sci-fi side of things, yeah. which I think is great and describes something about you, but that's a lot of your content. You talk about gamers with a Y, um, which do you even... I thought you hated that word. No, I think it's great. Okay, it's okay, funny. okay. Um, you talk about <laughs> gamers, you talk about liking sci-fi and program. you're a programmer, and like you talk a lot about that part of it, and that was not one of the things you said was... I mean, uh, so the the goal maybe failed. That's fine. Uh, it, that the 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 smart and fun, funny mm. part. That's that's meant to sort mm. of convey that, right? Yeah. Like, I don't think dumb people watch sci-fi. That sort of <laughs> says a lot about like what I'm. I don't know if this, uh, so but in, I also don't want to lead with that. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> well, so I I would say then adding more diversity outside yeah, yeah, of yeah. the sci-fi and and programmer kind of stuff. Well, yeah. so no one reads unless they like what they see. Totally. So we're not getting into we're not getting into anything of who you are until someone is like, wow, I want to get to know that person more. So you're saying like the photos have to get right. Yeah. Like to, the, to a hundred percent. Yeah. No one's going to be like, mm, I don't really like this person, but I'm going to spend five more minutes diving <laughs> deep into this app. I only do it either. Yes. You're really attractive or you're a maybe for me. And then I read a little bit more to kind of get. Yes. The- and I, I agree with the photo part. A hundred percent visual male women, hundred percent visual first. But what I'm looking for is not what you told us. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe that's a subconscious kind of low grade insecurity of like, let's see what, what I can pull from it. Yeah. Nicole, uh, what did you mean by that? Uh, always looking for friends, especially they're gamers. Very cute. Do you mm-hmm. make that up? No, that's a, that's, no. A, that's common. That's, a, that's okay. in our friends with benefits be great sex is fun too da, 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 da. but you don't but, want sex you don't but you sex don't is want fun that. too you want what you really yeah. want is you want hey i want connection i want maybe friends are cool but i want to connect yeah. like i want intimacy and it's okay to ask in, what you want for connections and i i i like connections to lead to sex not Actually, that exact thing but you something put yourself is, down all over this intimacy Six. can be connection and sex and both end he just what I'm looking for he wasn't being specific enough no I just think that I I love you know the first half of the page because you're, you're very honest like when I look at you I I'm like okay I I see that and then I go I'm looking at the screenshot I see the next page and I see a little bit of I, when I see you now you seem very confident and mm-hmm. very sincere and lovely but when I re- my second thing is uh that I was like mm red flag i love to find someone to date but that seems unlikely here no absolutely mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. you do not put that mm-hmm. you're like this is what i want and that makes you feel confident or you appear confident and that's what you want so, so put that out there part of the reason that i sent everybody screenshots of my scruff and my tinder is mm-hmm. that in my head they are separate things that mm-hmm. that for for tinder i'm looking for my next husband on scruff i'm looking for a, a connection don't get me wrong but that's more for like that's a sexual outlet and if it turns into a relationship beyond that then great but in in my in my in my head it, it's like 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 tinders tinders for my heart and scruffs for my dick but what do like, you really want you I, I think what you just said is better than this first sentence i want sexual connection and if that leads to a date and relationship that's great yeah because right here you say the, especially the but that seems unlikely here is like why the fuck am I on here and doing this? Can I ask a question? Yeah. yeah. So back to intimacy and connection again, which is a is a humanity thing. Yeah. It's not a sexuality thing. If you were to narrow it down, yes, would connect would connection be the first thing, or is like sexuality the first thing for you? Connection, I can answer that. Right. For for me, for me, sexuality is almost impossible without connection so i think yeah. as like coming from my therapist's point of view that that is your higher level of like mo mm-hmm. that's where you operate at your highest level as a human so if you set that out i mean some people are into in intention and intention if you set that out of yeah it's great to get fucked we all like to get fucked but at the end of the day the connection is what serves us best mm-hmm. and if that is your highest value then fuck scruff yeah 
Put that out there. Be I like, think you need to I remove want, that profile completely. I want connection. Hmm. We talked about like, should he be on Scruff at, at the beginning? But I, I think yes. I think you can actually find friends. I think you can find connections before yeah. sex. So I think it's worthwhile. Well, I, and I don't know, like when I was, I just chose, I did Tinder for a while and then I decided to do Bumble. And I, God, just the two apps. Like what if you just shut the one down because if you want someone on your dick what if it's just the person that you ended up finally putting all of your attention focus on and then you have that all the time yeah. well I, I wanted i wanted to throw out there well okay everybody who listens knows all of this already i i spent 15 years of my life on two people two marriages mm-hmm. and i've been single now for two and a half years and i really was interested in having a friend with benefits like i definitely need the friend part to be there i need there to be a connection Mm -hmm. but the idea of having a connection with somebody and having sex with them but we're not like we're not getting married is that was totally new and totally foreign and i tried to like figure out how to make that happen Mm -hmm. best sex of my life has been with this guy that i met on scruff and that's why I'm on Scruff is to try to make that kind of a relationship happen where like, yeah, we have a friendship. We have the connection. We're definitely not dating. I'm definitely not going to marry this person. And you're not monogamous? Uh, uh, no. Okay. No. But but that I can still have sex and explore my sexuality and have fun in that way because I really haven't <laughs> my whole life. But in a way that works for me because casual anonymous yeah. sex I just it's not only is it not fun it's it's gross and I don't like I'm damaged by it so I think the point is like yes you are look ultimately looking for a long-term relationship and to get married you are looking for sex but to you the best sex works in a certain way and it is connection so it's not that you should get rid of this because you don't want sex it's what are you looking for from people I like a connection in order to have good sex or well, something like that. I don't know what you're going to say. I hear, I hear a gray area. I hear, yeah. I hear two things. I hear, this is what I'm willing to do to try to get the thing that I want. And I hear, this is what I, that it's, this is what I'm doing that has worked. And this is, and I hear, this is what I want. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I feel like you are parlaying between all three. I will, maybe I like you're talking about like kind of what are all these things you're looking for? Like scruff could be the, what i'm looking for the sex through connection like that's what that app the goal of that app is and both like Uh. all of the if we want well that's going to have to be deeper and this is his journey right like we're just trying to get him swipes i I, want to know what the uh what's about yeah Uh, well well we're saying the same thing like i we both are on the same i mean we're always Uh, well first i should say that like we've got the vanity part no problem the photos we can get you the people with your posture with the way that you're holding yourself, with the way you're looking at the camera, how we get you to smize. Hair There's girls, some things that we can do. Haircut, clothes, That's everything. F- we can set. we can dress your shit, but and once you, you can- have the personality mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. have everything going on that we're seeing right here. However, you internally have to figure out mm-hmm. what it is mm-hmm. that is your ultimate desire, not your lesser connection mm-hmm. short term. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the root of what you really want. Mm-hmm. But you can... It can be mm-hmm. whatever you want. You can be interested in both. Uh, like I am on occasion interested in random hookups and sex. Long term, I want to date someone and be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. But I think so. I think you can want multiple things. You can. Well, wait, hold on. How old are you? Thirty-three. Okay, cool. I too. I mean, you can be. But what I'm hearing, <laughs> what I'm hearing from him, like if I if if I'm sitting, if him and I are sitting in a therapy room, I'm hearing mostly that he wants connection mm-hmm. and a partner to get married. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. And sideline and, and the other stuff. Which is <laughs> fine. Good, good dick, right? Good dick. Yeah. But, yep. yeah. And that's fine. Like that's, that is completely human and normal. But I, but the thing that I'm really hearing is you want that. So mm-hmm. you can so, have both ends. But so I, so this is the therapist. You is going to love this. Um, I definitely blame my lack of sexual experience for, it, a lot of the reason that my marriage to my husband failed. Fuck that. And <laughs> so there, there's there's a there's a certain amount of me that's like, I need to go fuck around, or my next marriage is going to fail oh my for God. the same reason. I, and like, my first relationship it, was so white cotton underwear. 
<laughs> like fruit of the loom my first relationship was fruit of the loom and then my, my, i mean i was together with my with my ex for 16 years but like i never felt safe hmm. in the relationship to be able to experiment hmm. and now i feel very safe and i also am conscious and aware that I am safe and now I am able to be able to open myself up more hmm. and so you can practice all you want with a person that you love if if you if you want a relationship someone's not going to leave you because you didn't know how to like hold the balls stick your finger up a butt and <laughs> like take it like you, you you practice with that person because they're safe and and with you or whatever so and, and you have the space to feel vulnerable if if you're like, hey, I don't know about this, but I love you and I'm willing to I give know you I everything don't like I can. Eating poop. You I think know? you are trying to, it sounds like you are trying to fix something that was not your problem. Yeah. You are trying to say, so not my your problem. Ex husband, nothing to do with you. Uh, you think this thing was the cause of your divorce? It actually doesn't matter if that's mm -mm. true or not. I don't mm -mm. think it is. It's but, not a you problem. That was not a you problem. Let's pretend it, it's not. Let's pretend it was. You need to find someone for Vibration. whom that is not. A problem because yeah. if you're forcing yourself to do something because you think that's what your next person needs then you're finding the wrong person yeah. and that's why mm. it's not and the world okay here's my woo woo because i'm a weird <laughs> hairstylist artist but like the world does in a way protect you from something that you actually don't need so if you think you more you need more sexual activity fucking watch some more porn or whatever but like i it may that may not that's not I, that person who it did not end up with you. You guys did not end up together because your vibrations were not good for one another. Mm, 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 mm. So, you know, at, in our 40s, uh, we kind of like look down the scope of like, wow, we're 40. Holy fucking shit. But also in 20 years, we're 60. Mm -hmm. And we start to value the time frame that we have. And we start to value what's in our future because we're going to be old, older when we're 60. And that feels scary. And so it's like, maybe you want to experience life that you feel like you lost. Um, but I can tell you that it's not going to be worth it if you're just fucking around. Hmm. Like, I think it would be really good for you to meditate on what are my three words? What do I want? And then go for those things. And if you're going to, you know, do scruff and it's not necessarily something that you do want to land on, you're wasting your time. Hmm. See, I disagree. Well, you're young. But I like... If your goal is to be in a long-term committed relationship, mm -hmm. that's important. But I think you can do other things along the way. I'm not saying what's that the you... value of that, though. I'm not asking you. The... I'm saying, what's the value for him? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You do have to figure out, like, is that worth? Is it worth it to spend time and energy on that when I could be spending on other things? So for me, it's like, well, I like sex, and that feels good. So even though, like, I don't want to like just not have sex until I find my person. So right. I think you can do. In the middle, know of what it. you want and do other things. But along you guys the way. want very different things. Yes, yes, I, that's not. So I'm true questioning: for Mike. is yeah. that is that an actually is that a valuable thing for you? Where, this is a question, not a. I don't know if this is what judgment. you were asking or not, but I'll throw it out there. Yeah, I. Oh, I'm nervous because I don't know if he listens or not. <laughs> My ex husband and I, I have learned that the sex wasn't that great. And I want to figure out can why. Can I ask you a question? He yeah. said that to you? Can no, I, no, no. Can I, I just, ask you a question? Like, like, How did you learn? Did you learn? Yeah. In which ways? After we were apart and, and I had sex with some other people. So you told yourself that? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you said the sex with my ex-husband was not great. Yeah. Because you found sex you liked better? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and I also think I also think that he he would agree with this i wouldn't uh, uh, is is bad at communicating he's very introverted and bad at reciprocal mm -hmm. communication okay so even if i were to ask like what can we do differently i don't think he's capable of answering so i was sort of in this vacuum of information sexually you guys did not with him. have the same vibration i agree i totally mm -hmm. agree with that but and it's so hard eight years great <laughs> no but that's that's hard that's hard too yeah. to think that you lost you feel like you spent time in a relationship that you were trying to build an empire that ended up dying and now you're thinking wow that was a waste of time yeah. but it it helped you now understand that you're more of a sexual being and i think that's really lucky for you instead of staying in a relationship that your vibration wasn't being met yeah she's right uh, what i'm hearing is a lot of your decisions are 
being based on your past relationship, yeah. which is understandable given you, you know, you say two and a half years, but it's not been, but the divorce papers went through like not too long, like still fresh. Yeah. It's fresh enough for you. So trying to find a way to let that go and not blame yourself and take away like what didn't work for him and find what you want. Because you're, you're saying, for example, I feel like I need to experiment Mm-mm. and know more like about sex. Like, well, you did kind of find that what's good sex for you. Mm-hmm. So do you have to keep going or do you now know that? Okay. Last thing I'll say. Yeah. It's really specific. Your, uh, your headline is Mike with 10,000 exclamation points. I yeah. don't need to know your name quite yet. If I want to, <laughs> if I want to be interested in you, I need something a little bit different. So I want to read your headline, know something that catches my attention and read more. I, you're giving me hundred percent agree. You're trying to sell me. You're trying to give me information that is too far down the sales. F- I'm thinking of e-commerce Interesting. too far down the sales funnel. So I, you don't usually have names on there. I think you this can. Is, this you is do. fascinating to me because I like, made a conscious effort to, to think have, about how many exclamation <laughs> to, to have, is like, four or three <laughs> good. i just i changed it from just mike to mike with a bunch of exclamation points because i thought it was funny but to what me if it was mike i don't a... think people know you enough to know that that's funny to you okay. i agree Great. i think that's hilarious Great. but i don't think they know that you're making a joke let's go back to just having it be my first name i think that I, I, it's mystifying to me the number of headless torsos with a name that's just one emoji that I don't understand. Like, fucking be yourself. I'm gay. I'm out. I'm proud. I'm happy. Here's my face. Here's my fucking name. Deal with it. So most people don't have their names. A lot don't. Many, many, yeah. many don't. So I would say okay. you can still do the, like, tell them something about yourself that maybe might not be your name. Like, you you don't have to do a peach emoji or an eggplant or you know a sun emoji like you can do other things that say like okay i'm gonna interject here yeah not to get i think you guys might be i i'm hearing two different things you were you made a comment earlier oh you were with somebody you're like i don't want to fucking know your name yeah and you're like hey over here why do you have your name that's weird and so that's a great argument because you guys are in such opposite corners. So for Mike, your advice to Mike. So I would say even for what Mike wants, don't uh-huh. put your name. But are you saying for Mike, you think name is good? Uh, well, I guess we're getting into the di- two different apps. But I'm just seeing you guys like you're across the table and you could you guys could not be more opposite. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, such yeah, a great yeah. analogy of where you guys are at. <laughs> So I think psych- psychologically, yeah. if having my first name there, if that's too much connection for you to handle, then we definitely shouldn't even talk. Do you I think- actually like Michael better than Mike, though. Is that a deterrent? Would that be a deterrent for some people on on this I app? Don't, I don't necessarily think deterrent, um, but I also am thinking that doesn't like that doesn't give me anything about you yet, and like for a, such a prominent piece of real estate. Mm. Um, to not have anything that draws people in. But I get the, like, that's helpful to know, like, for you, like, this is so important, like, personalizing and, and being myself. Like, I, I don't necessarily think it achieves your goal, but maybe for you, you do think it does achieve your goal. And but I ladies, want, ladies, here's, I here's the, the nine grid. Weeks. You can see what people put for their names. Why is Mike with exclamation points any worse than an eggplant with a finger banging or like oh those are, well those are stupid too yeah like, i think what else what Kyle? else oh, what God, is yours there's like five if, car if you're photos, an expert like on uh, having a really catching headline. oh no do as i say not as i do <laughs> yeah what is yours i don't i think it might be my name oh that's weird it is because i should i and i don't think i should have that as my like <laughs> i i'm i don't think my profile is like totally mm. legit and get great so I'm, this is this is so fascinating. <laughs> oh, also, it's, is it that you want to be like mysterious and anonymous at the same time? And, oh my God, have you and met just Gandhi? like he's I, handsome. Hook it up. <laughs> oh, who me? That oh, you're you now up. you're starting to to swipe for him. <laughs> well, I just was like looking. I was like, oh God, but like car photo, car photo. Oh, <laughs> uh, I on the text part. We talked, we went as far as, but that seems unlikely here. Yeah. Whereas like, okay, that's kind of negative. Um, and you're the next line. I'll settle for someone already. That isn't gross. Yeah. Isn't crazy. Doesn't do hard. Tr- I, in particular, I, I hate long lists of things you don't want. Also, but also this is very, you, you mentioned this earlier, Nicole, like very self-effacing. Like I will uh-huh. settle. Just don't be gross. And I'm cool. Like you could do far worse. No. Mm. 
bad. <laughs> also on profiles. I love it. Let me. So I get it. I get it. I'm a woman. I don't know anything about these apps. I'm straight. When I first time I was married for, it was my second marriage, got divorced. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do any apps. That's weird. Freaks me out. Had way more friends fail on it. So I got a Bumble. I only put one photo, no description, nothing. And then the person I ended up swiping on was, didn't work out, but it was no description, one photo. Hmm. <laughs> weird. Yeah. Okay. But the stuff I saw online with the too much blah, 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 I was like, no, no, like, no, I don't care. Like, it's just weird. I don't care about that shit. So one thing that Tiffy and I would be really good at is very concise and you're a computer guy, so mm-hmm. I hope you would appreciate this, but very compact, con- concise. This is who I am. No self-deprecating shit. Not what I'm not going to want to do and blah, blah, blah. You're like, this is me. This is what I want. Grid photos. And I swear to God, you're going to be off to the races. I just want two weeks of you just focusing on one app for you to tell us what you yeah. experience after. Your shit's going to get real. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Okay, I'm Because down. they're going to meet you in person and they're going to be like, Oh my God, he is amazing. Hmm. And we're not just saying this. Like, so if we start giving you all the woofs, then all of a sudden you're going to have to deal with that. And then you're going to be like, I don't want these 18 woofs. Like, yeah, you'll oh, wait it. a second. I like this one. And then, and then you'll want to do, then you'll want to do that with that guy. Okay. So to wrap this up, Mike, yeah. we have done a lot of going to town in a bad way, not in a good way of how you look how you're representing yourself, what you want, your past relationships. So there's a lot we just threw at you. How are you feeling yep. right now? Uh, Dan and I were just a second ago talking about this. And the the thing, I don't know how it sounds, but I guess I don't necessarily no, I, I care. I want what you I, really feel. I genuinely believe that I have a lot to offer. And I think that there are a lot of people out there that don't feel that about themselves because they're getting rejected and they let it get to them. Yeah. I'm great, <laughs> and, and, and I'm just not doing a good job of representing that, or communicating that, or or uh, w- whatever whatever is happening is happening. So I'm in this space where criticize what I'm putting out there all you want to, because I also don't feel like it's mm-hmm. me or representative that's why, of that's me. That's why you had like, us come. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. it's almost so it's almost yeah. validating. If we said it's you're welcome, <laughs> no, you, this if, looks exactly like if you. you're like so. this is you. You're doing this is exactly who you are. No one likes it. Yeah. So it's actually good that we have a lot of things that we're like this doesn't represent you. We, got it. Okay, 100%. I'm glad that's the takeaway because I if it was me I would not have and that I same think thing. <laughs> I think it's it's really brave. It's showing how brave you are because you are having people safe space, but still having people say, not this, not this, not this. And sometimes that can be put in a place where you're being shamed. And and because this is a very helpful environment where you've acknowledged that you want to make the change, like that's very brave. Yeah. That shows that you do like yourself because you do value your person and you do want to get to the next step. Yeah. And that's why you found experts. I, I, I will also say that the, those those things are in there. The shame the shame is in here. Like it it's that's that's real. That's also here. How could it not be? Mm-hmm. But the 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 positives overwhelm that by by a lot. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, don't don't think I'm dead inside, or that like this isn't this isn't this isn't uncomfortable or painful because because it is. But the the, yeah. the the good parts are uh, overwhelmed that, and the, the steadfast belief again that I'm I'm pretty great. Like yeah. I I can stand by that, and that that overrides all of these other the other things that are definitely for sure there. Too. I see your stuff is like surface I, things, so just to be tweaked. Yeah, but I think the takeaway from like at least I'm I can speak for Tiffany, but we're like. Um, what? This is no problem. Yeah, <laughs> you have all the confidence. Yeah. you are this beautiful person, yeah. beautiful soul. Like, uh-huh. just tweak your online bullshit. Uh huh. And- okay, we don't compliment Mike that much on this show. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Um, A lot of people say that they want to have sex with my voice. How do I put that online? You're doing it right now. <laughs> yeah, Actually, but then how does your scruff? How do you do that? That's something that I'm going to talk about on my Patreon. Oh, no. shut the fuck up. <laughs> um. Well, I, thank you, Mike, for putting yourself out there like this and letting us do this because I think it's very relatable. I think there will be plenty of listeners that experience this and also don't have that level of confidence to say, I'm great. And so I want them to know, like, your rejection on Scruff is not 
anything about you Mm-mm. personally. Mm-mm. So next things we're going to do, we've already started as we've had little breaks. Of, we're going to fix up your profile and then we'll let y'all see. We posted the before to the group. So we'll post the after to the group. And I guess if you're okay with it, Mike, hey, we'll take some comments from everyone and what they think. And then we'll yeah. report back on one of our episodes about how it went. Sounds great. Yeah. So should we take a break? Let's take a break. <laughs> Let's take a break. Woof. Woof. You hate that word. I hate that word so much. <laughs> What's the other word? <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where Mike and Kyle take a break. Are we back? We're back. Okay. We're back. You genuinely asked if we were back, which is not usually. <laughs> uh, we are going to do our gays and straightest. We're going to do our gays and straightest, but, but first. Tiffany and Nicole, where can people find you, find out more about what you do, and get in touch with you? For right now, we um, you can contact Tiffany Colors on Instagram. And Is it at Tiffany Colors? At Tiffany Colors. And uh, Nicole and I will do our very best to help your amazing profile get back mm-hmm. on track. So do you want people to reach out to you if yeah, they want help absolutely. with their profile? Absolutely. That's all they do. I, I mean, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Well, our website is gayishpodcast.com. All of our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube is at gayishpodcast or slash gayishpodcast. Our hotline, you can send us text messages or leave us voicemails is 5855-GAYISH. That's 585-542-9474. Standard rates apply. Our email is gmail at gayishpodcast.com. I'll also plug again the Facebook group uh, because that's where we're going to be posting Mike's pictures. Uh, Facebook.com slash group slash gayishpodcast. And you can send us stuff in the mail now. P- it's so oh, awesome. Box. This is the first episode that we've had a P.O. box, just so you know why we're flipping out about it. Yeah. 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 You really yeah. do have a good online voice. <laughs> it's yeah. really annoying <laughs> because I don't like when Mike gets compliments. <laughs> you, could, you know, you. But his, everybody's yeah. good. Everyone's got their strengths. Everyone's got their strengths. If you want to send us shit in the mail, it's P.O. Box 19. Not literal. N- not, no, please do not send us shit in the mail, people. I don't care if you're into that. Not literal. <laughs> not literal shit. If you'd like to send us pleasant Good things, things uh, it's P.O. Box 19882, Seattle, Washington, 98109. Do you already have that memorized? Yeah. Damn, Gina. Okay. No, he's reading it. <laughs> you were looking at me while you were doing it. It's 19882. I have it memorized. Okay. Because um, it's 1988, which is like just a little bit older than you, and then a two oh. at the end. That's a really interesting way to... Anyway, okay, we're going to do our gayest and straightest. We're going to do our gayest and straightest. Uh, Tiffany, let's start with you. Okay. So my gayest is... I re-insulated my chicken coop by myself with a hammer and nails and a staple gun. And I only broke the staple gun one time <laughs> and re-bedded and removed all the chicken shit. I mean, we, we talked about hardware stores being a lesbian thing. And yeah. like you yeah. utilize yeah. all of the tools. Yeah, it I, sounds like. So yeah. She almost that. went to Home Depot. <laughs> almost. You could do it. They can help. And my straightest was slave in the kitchen for the weekend for all the children, making them all of the foods, all of the foods. What do they have? What do they have? What do they have? Um, well, I mean, this morning we had sausage. I diced potatoes and put so parmesan <laughs> cheese on top and made Ital- Was it Italian brown. like mine? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nicole, what about you? Parlay, same story. Yep. Laundry, repeat. Last night, made a bechamel lasagna, and everyone lost their fucking mind, but I'm slaving the kitchen while everyone else is watching shows, shows. and Netflix. It and sounds amazing, and it's January, so because of like resolutions, I'm laying off the bechamel lasagna, but... Uh, it sounds fucking amazing. So good. <laughs> but so for the good. stereotype of slaving over the stove, lasagna also is the like the the quintessential. Layer, the next. <laughs> thing. I worked in the kitchen yeah. on this. Yes. And, oh, and before that, I went grocery shopping with mm-hmm. all the children. <laughs> so that's pretty straight. Yeah. Left spending a hundred dollars over what you wanted. Mother moment, mm, probably. I have to say, drooling over all the women at the Golden Globes. Golden Globes, for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck who wins. I just care about what they're wearing. And do Do you have an that. opinion on who looked the best? Oh my god, she was terrible. I always okay. My first fail was. What the fuck Christmas present, J-Lo? Did you see that? (laughs) Why were you dressed in a Christmas present? I'm still confused. Even if you're going to wear that dress, why those colors? Was she representing like a country? I don't know. It was so bad. It was Everybody was so bad. I think... (laughs) Instead of what designer are you wearing, they're like, which country are you? What country are you wearing? (laughs) Honestly, I think maybe 
ScarJo because hers was like the most basic red whatever but everyone else I'm like nope mm -mm. <laughs> why why <laughs> what if you're a celebrity uh, and need styling advice go to <laughs> at Tiffany Colors to, exactly. <laughs> to get more uh, for us Mike Okay, uh, so the gayest thing about me this week uh, was taking all of my dick pics off of Scruff this morning <laughs> so that we could do this episode. That was your, it, interestingly, that was your one insecurity about this entire <laughs> thing was like... Di you is that the gayest thing? on Scruff? Yeah, on your private profile, on your or, or locked pictures. How many did you have? Oh, uh, like four. I have oh. four that I kind of recycle. Wow, four is a lot. How do they... What? It is? Oh, Dan and I had opposite reactions. I mean, it's a lot oh, more than cool. zero, which is your number. Never those. sent a dick pic. Anyway, the straightest thing about me this week, at least as far as I can tell, uh, it's a straight thing, uh, taking all the dick pics off of my Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> what? Isn't, aren't straight people like using Tinder to fuck? No? I just, I, uh, I, it's, I, uh, 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 I don't, uh, 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 I, just, I, I think about, I'm never putting the vagina pic, like I think about my Jorah photos. Vagina <laughs> pics aren't a vagina thing though. Vagina pics. Why aren't yeah, they? Why well, aren't they? Guess, That's misogynistic. I, uh, is it? Like, why? I don't so, yeah, to think that like dicks are the interesting and like everyone has such a he's not focus on the you, he's saying, uh, oh to, like the people. I just I I I I don't think that. I mean, I like dick, but I don't like a dick pic. No girls like I'm dick. Kind of the same. Yeah. Oh, you don't, don't like him either. To, not if it's just your dick. Like I don't need oh. just a picture of dick. I want to see what's attached to. So even in porn, like if you just zoom in on the dick part or the like the the dick in the ass, like I don't care about that. I want to see bodies. Do you want bodies. this photo? The up upwards yeah. dick photo? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Is what I'm going to be doing later. <laughs> um my uh straightest thing is that I remembered that Clyde Drexler played for the Houston Rockets. Wow. I don't know a lot about sports, but I grew up in Houston when they were when the Rockets were good, and he was one of the players, and I remember that. Who uh, are you? I'm Clyde Drexler. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, the gayest thing about me is I went to a friend's, not really baby shower, but kind of baby shower, like baby party, and he has an apartment such that there are multiple rooms. There are two rooms, so I was in one room. I walked over through the hallway to the other room, walked in and was like, oh, this isn't like, there are like a few dudes and a family watching a football game. So I was like, this isn't my room. And it felt like a bathhouse <laughs> where I was like, <laughs> I walk in a room and I'm like, nope. And then turn around and walk back and feeling like a person's apartment is a bathhouse who <laughs> gave me such gay vibes. <laughs> So that's, that's it. it. A, a special thank you to Tiffany and Nicole for being Thanks here. For thank you us. so thank very you much, so much. And for your so advice. And Thanks help. for your honesty and support. Two weeks. You have yes. to give us two weeks. <laughs> All right. We got you. All right. Um, do we have any other thank yous? Um, thanks to Josh Reimer for being gay and having a wedding. And Mr. Homosexual Canada. <laughs> Former <laughs> Mr. Homosexual Canada. Um, yeah, that's it. This has been Gayish. I'm Mike Johnson. I'm Kyle Getz. Until next week, be butch, be fabulous, be you. See you next week. See you next week. I made up a word the other day. It's lucrosity. Lucrosity. And it's what does it mean? Ludicrous That's ludicrous. The sun and monstrosity together. Oh. Like if it, I it, love it. So it a tendency just... to jack off to Luke Perry. <laughs> Did you? Oh. <laughs>